whispering nature ants. I have always been fascinated by ants. As a child, my mother bought me an ant farm. It was a wonderful thing. I loved watching the ants build different chambers and go about their daily chores. It was all well for about a week, until to my disappointment and to my mother's dread, they found a way to escape. But nonetheless, I have never lost my fascination with ants. Most of the time, we hardly think about ants. They seem so small and insignificant. Perhaps we spend more time looking upwards, thinking about how we are small and insignificant. Which is a fine thing to do, and one of my favorite things to do, actually. We always must find ways to humble ourselves. But anyways, looking down, you see ants. I said before, you probably don't think anything about them, or you might even step on them because you think it's funny. Have you ever wondered how these small creatures live, their society, their anatomy? Well, this video is going to go over some information about ants. Maybe, in the end, you might hold a fascination like I do. Ants are insects of the family Formicidae, along with bees and wasps. They are extremely old creatures. They evolved during the mid-Cretaceous period, 110 to 130 million years ago. Ants eat a wide range of things. Some are herbivores, some are predators, and some are scavengers. But most are omnivores and will eat a mixture of anything available. Their ability to adapt, defend, and work together has led to them being able to thrive as a species. Ants have colonized most of the Earth, except for Antarctica and a few islands. They are estimated to form up to 15 to 25 percent of the terrestrial animal biomass. Ants form colonies ranging from a few dozen to hundreds of millions. The larger colonies have mostly sterile females forming a gas system soldiers, and other specialized task groups. Most colonies have some fertile males called drones, and one or more fertile females called queens. The colonies are a huge unified process. All of the ants work together to make the colony thrive. The ant colonies have many chambers for different tasks. Queen chambers, food storage chambers, waste chambers, chambers for eggs and larvae, and chambers for the worker ants. Ants, like other insects, have an exoskeleton, an external heart covering that protects their internal organs. Insects don't have lungs. Oxygen and other gases pass through tiny valves called spiracles. They also lack closed blood vessels. They have a long perforated tube along the top of their back called the dorsal aorta that functions like a heart. It pumps the hemolymph towards the head. Hemolymph is a fluid in anthropods that is made up of blood, water, proteins, fats, sugars, and hormones. On the head, ants have compound eyes made from tiny lenses attached together. They also have three small ocelli, simple eyes, on top of their head that detect light levels and polarization. Two antennae are attached to the head that detect vibrations, chemicals, and air currents. They are also used to transmit and receive signals through touch. The head has two jaws called mandibles. They are very strong and are used for food, to manipulate objects, and to make nests and for defense. All six legs are attached to the thorax. A claw at the end of each leg helps them to hang on to surfaces and to climb. The abdomen houses important organs, including the reproductive, respiratory, and excretory systems. Workers of many species have their egg leg structures modified into stings used for prey and defense. Ants begin as eggs. Ants develop by complete metamorphosis, with the larva stage passing through a pupal stage before emerging.
emerging as an adult. The larvae are immobile and are cared for by workers. The workers feed the larvae by trophallaxis, which means the workers regurgitate liquid food into the larvae. They also may be fed by pieces of food, like pieces of prey or seeds. As the larvae grow, the differentiation between queens and workers, both females, and different caste of workers is influenced in some species by the nutrition the larvae get. Larvae and pupae need to be kept at a fairly constant temperature, so they are often moved around various brood chambers. This has been some information on ants, creatures that will never lose my interest. I sincerely hope that you have found this video informative and relaxing. The natural world is a, such a beautiful and wondrous place. Although ants might seem small, they make up a huge part of it. Thank you so much for watching. There are going to be plenty more of these types of videos coming out. In, um, in time, my Whispering Nature series is also going to be, there's also going to be, um, whispering science.